Now I left the uh, um, image in, so I'll just uh, arrow down to existing OS and then press enter. And let's hope that, uh, first of all, I want to edit this first line. So I just chose the first, op first option there and I pressed E on the keyboard and then uh, I'm going to down to where it says Linux, right here where the cursor is. I press E and D, end on the keyboard, and I do that VGA again, equals 791, and then Control X to continue booting, and it makes it just a larger screen in VirtualBox. I don't know, just easier to work with. And yeah, so <laughs> press Enter, and I'll log in as root. I want to make sure that the uh, screen resolution that I selected is always running at startup. And also, I want to, we want to enable DHCPD because um, we don't really need a network manager in a virtual box. So, system CTL enable DHCPCD. Okay. Okay. So once we're logged in, you can do LS. You can see the AUI directory is still there. So CD AUI LS and a dot slash and this time it's a U I and it's uh, uh backing up to your Pac-Man configuration so you press enter and it makes it confirm confirm that uh, this is your system language and if it is then hit yes uh, create a new user sure and the other stuff I just keep pressing enter till I get the password press enter to continue now, the Bash RC, um, I made the mistake, mistake of using default, but um, I like to use the vanilla one so because I like to customize it later to my liking. But it's up to you. Default one's kind of nice, though. And I'm not sure from the GitHub. I don't know. So option two. And your editor, I'm going to choose Nano. And we're, we're going to use Yao Art. And it will download uh, certain things, so we can use Yowart, of course. And then we uh, type in the user password and press Enter to continue. Uh, a lot of these are just going to sit. Select No, okay. And that is the default because it's a uh, high capitalized. So Enter, No. Okay. So now we're at the uh, basic setup again. So you press One. Do you want to add a custom uh, repository? I'm going to just know for now. And it gets the updates. RC, M locate, that's good. Press enter. And you can see it's getting zip, uh, P7 zip, unzip, and unRIR. So it's just uh, going out and grabbing stuff. I'm not going to use the. You can install a lot of this stuff you can do later. So no, 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 no. So that was like preload, ZRAM, ZRAM, and stuff. So now it's uh, configuring your Zorg server, and it will pick up the VirtualBox drivers and install them and actually activate the kernel mode. And you can see it's detecting video chipset, so it's getting VirtualBox. I'd be really interested to see what this does with uh, a live install, if it picks up uh, the proprietary card or gives you a choice. So it's added us to the uh, VBox SF. Uh, that's for copy and paste and enabled the uh, stuff. Now, here's the one that I kind of got hung up on. Um, in Fatality, it says recommended, but uh, you need a signature. And uh, it's not hard to do, but I don't have access to it right now. If, uh, <clears throat> if you don't put the signature in, it'll fail, and it'll keep saying you want to continue because this packages fail so I'm just going to select default for now and then you can read up on in in finality or whatever it is it's called on the arch wiki so that was simple enough uh, I don't have a printer um, I don't need any optional additional sorry firmware if you want uh, it's handy that it's there especially on a uh, on hard drive install but no uh, no for fire, firewall. Then option two is select your desktop environment and your window manager. So two, 
press enter. Uh, I'm going to go with what I know, number 7, XFCE. And this downloads the XFCE desktop along with the goodies and some other things. It might pop up and ask you a couple of questions um, pertaining to GNOME. I'm not sure, though. We'll just wait and see. All right. Uh, it's downloaded the uh, XFCE4 and the goodies. So at the bottom, it's asking if you want to install GNOME defaults list. I think that's for uh, um, making your directories like documents, downloads, etc. So do I want to edit the package? No, I don't think. Continue building? Yes. And continue installing. Press Senator continue. Um, if you want to use a login manager, uh, Slim is usually the one suggested for XFCE, LXDE, LXDM is a good one, LightDM, no thanks, GDM, maybe a little heavy. Um, you can choose Slim or LXDM, I guess, but I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this. Okay, so I'm going to press B and I don't need any themes. I can get those later. That's up to you, though. There's probably some neat ones in here. So I'll press D. And WXGTK is good uh, for helping with your uh, things like uh, integration with uh, zip uh, file roller and stuff. So, like I said before, we don't need any kind of network management in VirtualBox. If you do, um, this would be handy to set up. Um, I'm not sure if this includes Nets, uh, Net CTL. I haven't tried this out on a uh, regular install, so I'm hit none anyway. In any case, uh, no, nope. That was for if you do have a modem, 3G or whatever, then enable that. Okay, now the rest is kind of up to you what you want. I went through some of these um, accessories. Development apps, Office. I don't use any of those system apps. Well, I use them, but none of the ones I wanted. Um, audio apps would be stuff like the editor, the codex. So let's go to audio apps. So I'm going to skip a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, you can get them later, um, but I don't want to take up too much time in the video. So I'll go to option nine, and I want to get the codex. And that's going to install your codex that you're going to need to play audio files. Uh, it's your choice if you want to pick an audio player or editors and stuff. I'm just going to go back, press B again. And video apps, same thing. I'm just going to get video codex, uh, which is option three. And it will download the ones you're going to need. And Codex 64, which is interesting, all the way down. Uh, edit package, no, this is fine. Continue building, enter for yes, or just press type Y. Enter again, enter again, enter again. And again, your choice, editors, players, there's a selection, nice selection. But I'm going to go back. Uh, games, lots of games in there, it's kind of neat. Uh, web server, don't need that. Fonts, yes, definitely. And I want Deja Vu. And I'm not sure. Deja Vu is good enough to start with. So press enter. And you can choose whatever you want from that. Mind you, though, like after installing this, you can always run this script again through a root terminal, even on your desktop. And if you want to pick up some other stuff. Extra, no. Um... 15, eh, okay, we'll clean up Pac-Man. Sync database. And then Q, and we're pretty much done. Quit, press enter, press enter, and then press Q to quit, and reboot system, type Y, and reboot. Okay, now we can log in as our regular user that we made a um, while back. We'll do a list out, and we can see that... Uh, X in it RC is there. So let's uh, type CAT dot X in it RC, press tab to complete. You can see here at the bottom it's uncommented or added in exec 
start xfce4 so we should be able to just type in the word start x so zoom out because the desktop's going to be larger so start one word x enter and there we have it uh, we don't have a web browser that's up to you can get that if you want um, I think it I noticed it installed uh, GBS and uh, I think Gammon and I think uh, it's uh, I'm not sure okay is that it's uh, enabled uh, access without a password but I'm not sure about that if you look in your home folder um, you can see that the I think it was the gnome script the list that makes all these uh, folders for you so now we can uh, eject this disk okay so that should be it I think that covers most of it uh, thanks to the user uh, sorry use a viewer uh, for suggesting this I think it's a really neat script um, you still have to know a little bit about Linux and Arch Linux itself to use it but it does help a bit and I hope this helps um, you out in taking some of the guesswork out of uh, using the script all right so that's it for this one and thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon bye for now